Hey and welcome and thanks for grabbing this video product. In this video training course you're going to learn how to set up your product on the DigiResults platform. This is video number one, the introduction to DigiResults. So just a quick overview of what we're going to be talking about in this specific video. I'm going to give you a videos overview. We're going to talk about mindset to make sure that you're in the right mindset. We're going to talk about the general strategy and we're going to talk about what you need to get started. So the video's overview, uh, video one is this specific video. Video two, we're going to give you the product vendor checklist. So I'm going to make sure that you have this checklist, you have everything in hand before you actually set up the DigiResults product. It's really actually very, very easy to set up a DigiResults product. As long as you have all the pages and everything like the price points, the titles, the descriptions and so forth. But I'll jump right in. I'll show you more about that in that specific video. Video number three, it's important to map out your sales funnel. For example, your front end product, your one time offer, your back end product and things like that. If you know exactly what your sales funnel is going to look like, then implementation is going to be a lot easier. Video number four, we're going to talk about gathering and uploading your pages. For example, your thank you pages, your sales page, your affiliate page, and then uploading your pages. I'm going to show you, you know, what you need and what you need to use to edit the pages and so forth. So don't worry about, you know, how to use the tools. I'm going to show you how to do all of that in that specific video. And video number five is setting up your product on DigiResults. So once you have everything from videos two, three, and four, setting the product on DigiResults is actually very, very easy to do. And you'll be amazed because this process will should only take about 10 to 15 minutes max. Video number six, I'm going to show you how from that point to get the DigiResults payment link or button. So if you want to use their buttons, you can do that. If you have your own button on your sales page, I'm going to show you how to add the link to the button. So whatever avenue that you choose, I'm going to make sure that you're covered. And then we're going to add that to the sales page. And then, of course, we're going to upload that to your website through FTP. And, of course, last but not least, video number seven, I'm going to show you how to use the DigiResults affiliate system. All right, so with that said, let's talk about mindset. It's easy to think only from a product owner standpoint. But what I want you to do is as you set your product up, on the digital results platform I want you to really really focus on your buyers and your affiliates so two different audiences here focus on your buyers make sure that you're constantly in their shoes in their perspective because if you can do this then the process that your buyers will see will just be great from the process of them buying the product to the process of them getting their product delivered and if you have this mindset when you're creating your sales pages when you're creating your thank you pages your affiliate pages for your affiliates and so forth then it's going to be a lot easier and I've learned this from experience as a product owner and a product developer myself so just put yourself in their shoes and the process will be a lot easier for them they're going to be happy and they'll come back later. So constantly ask yourself for affiliates, does this action make your affiliates happy? Or does this action or this action, what I'm about to do, or this process, give your affiliates what they want fast without any problems? And we know from previous experience that with affiliates, they want to get paid fast. So with Dizzy Results, you want to utilize their instance affiliate paying system. With buyers, on the other hand, does this action or what you're about to do or this process give your buyers what they want fast without any problems? Or how can this action add value 
to my buyers. So if you constantly ask these questions, it's going to be really, really easy to implement stuff on your part, but it's also going to make the process easier for your buyers and your affiliates. So here's the general strategy. Step number one, we're going to gather your product downloadable files. We're going to create all the pages from the sales to the delivery to the thank you pages. And then we're going to upload it to FTP to your website. And then, of course, step number two, from that point, we're going to set everything up on the DigiResults platform. And step number three, we're going to add an affiliate program, which is part of DigiResults anyways, but you can take it further. I'm going to show you how to take it further. I'm going to show you how to utilize the DigiResults affiliate system. And, of course, you're going to market your product, but the stuff in blue here is the stuff that we're going to teach in this specific video course. And then step number four, you're going to take care of that yourself and market your own product. But with an affiliate program added to it, it's going to help with the marketing of your product or service because you're going to have other people promote it. They're going to get a cut of the sales. They're going to be happy. They're going to promote your product over and over again. So here's what you're going to need. You need a product, which I assume that you have a product. And I assume that you have a website and that your domain is connected to your hosting. So from this point on, I'm going to show you everything else, assuming these two conditions. You're also going to need to have a DigiResults account. So if you don't have one already, go ahead and go to digiresults.com and create an account. You're also going to need what we call an FTP program, which is a file transfer protocol program basically that means it helps you transfer your files from your computer to your website and in this case i'm going to recommend a free program called filezilla then you're going to need a WYSIWYG web editing tool which is basically means what you see is what i get so if you know how to use microsoft word or any other documents web editing or editing tool then this program is actually very very easy to use in this case I recommend a tool called composer now if you don't know exactly where to get it I'm gonna actually show you that later down the road when we actually use these tools and you're gonna need some money to create some affiliate promotional tools I'm gonna to do my best to show you how to create some affiliate promotional tools for free uh, but for the certain items that you will need money for, I'm going to show you how to go about getting those created at the cheapest price while retaining quality. So with that said, let's move on to video number two.